Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. Sorry I'm a bit late today, but I've been visiting my parents' grave and on the way home I found that the police had blocked off the Kingsway Bridge, which I usually take on my way home and I had to double back, go over the cantilever, then go through Warrington, through Warrington traffic. Joy. Anyway, also in case... Any of you are Americans and you didn't already know, that's the new model Cadillac. It's the all-electric one. I think it's quite nice. I like that styling. The new generation of American car designers has taken inspiration from the designs in Europe. And that's the result. Well done, America. Anyway, last week you will recall... At the end of my video, I said I'd do something about the number of single people living in America. It's not so much news about the numbers, as we all know that single people are in, on the increase all over the Western world and also across the third world as well. But I found some things that could be of interest and useful to any of you who are living in sync, who are now living singly. Singletons, I say. And the first is this. It, as you can see, it's a site called Della Di Polo. And this was written on September the 3rd, 2013. It says, single men are too often marginalized, but not, I hope, by me. It's a link to various articles which could be useful to you. I'll just have a look at this one. Happy Bachelor, because that is more or less what MGTOWs are. But they're all linked to the psychology today. And it gives you information about Happy Bachelor and this. I'll just get rid of that. And it drops down various links. And you can pick which one is of interest to you. There's no comments. But that was written on September 3rd, 2013. The next one I found is that from a similar site, Lifelong Single People, Here's What We Know. It says the number of single people has been growing for more than half a century. Of all Americans who are unmarried, the biggest proportion of them so far are people who have never been married. Yet not much research has been spoken specifically on this group. And it says, what has changed for single Americans in the last decade? Click on that. And we have another article. Get rid of that for a start. Ah, oh, Washington Post, bezos rag. Mine, oh, bloody hell. Never before in the US history of so many adults being unmarried, there are now 109 million Americans, 18 years and older, who are divorced, widowed, who have always been single. That's 45% of the adult population. Now I'll just click on that. See what that brings up. As you can see, it brings up loads of things. This was on 2016. Not really relevant to today, but I digress. Get rid of Bezos's comic. As you can see, there's lots of links to various articles. Too many to go through one video, but I'll actually put all the links down below. And well, let's have a look at this one. The profound rewards of staying single. And we're back to psychology again. But anyway, that's... That article. Also, all of us who are MGTOWs and or confirmed bachelors who are get on in years, I found this one specifically for us. It says older single people, here's what we know. And according to the prevailing cultural narrative, single people later in life have two big things against them. They are single and they are old. Now focus on the older single women and you have the trafficker who are single, they are old, they are women. I think this article is mostly aimed at women. Uh, lifelong singles, later singles, stereotype defy findings. If you're single and you grow alone, results from six nations. 
Let's have a look at that. And back to psychology again. Anyway. Lots of links, lots of articles. And then we've got books by written by the same person. Single, no children. What? Who is your family? And how we live now. Modeling home and family in the 21st century. I should imagine that's aimed at people who are married. But that's for older people. And finally, more relevant to MGTOWs, I found this, IdeaPod. Now this was written seven months ago, which is, uh, where are we now, 14th of November. Uh, seven from 11 is around about March this year. 14 Reasons Why Good Men Choose to Be Single. Now, this is more relevant to MGTOW and this channel. It says, being single has a bad reputation in many societies. Many friends and family wonder what's wrong and why you are not in a relationship or marriage. But the truth is that being single can have a proactive choice, even for those of you wouldn't expect. And then it goes down, conserve their energy, prefer to focus on their own goals. That's a MGTOW for reason drop down they never get they never get the woman who they want that sort of relationship with me every woman that I've ever liked the look of didn't like the look of me and I treated to the three eyes their revolving trauma and their issues first that could be divorce they want to build financial security before getting serious. That's a MGTOW slant. They've found relationships to be too much drama. That is definitely a MGTOW slant. They just love to have their own space. I can agree with that. I like being on my own. I like the peace and quiet of where I live. They're picky and willing to hold out for a good fit. Not necessarily... They'd rather be alone than hitched to the wrong person. Well, you could say that is the MGTOW slant. People have, guys have seen what's happened to other guys that got divorced, raped, so they decided that's not going to happen to me. They prefer to focus on their hobbies and passions. That's definitely a guy thing, even if it's just games or porn. They're willing to fake interest when it's not they aren't willing to fake into so it's not there. Don't know about that. They're like settled in their own schedule and priorities. That probably remains routine. Sometimes high high quality men want to stay single for the simple reason they want to be able to set their own priorities. This I'll the next one's about these high quality men. They're honest about still being in love with someone else. They're unusual or unique and it's hard to find a match. Being single can be a choice. That's definitely a MGTOW slant. Love yourself first and that's it. Regarding the high quality men, to top this off, I came across this. This is CNBC. This was October 24th, about two weeks or so ago. 63% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, including nearly half of six-figure earners, i.e. high-quality men. It says almost half of those earning more than 100 k say they are just getting by. Where on earth are they spending the money? If they're single and they're earning that kind of money, aren't they putting it to one side? It says, if I can find it, uh, there we go. Even high income earners are stretched to the limit. Lending clubs said they, of those earning more than six figures, 49% reported living paycheck to paycheck, a jump from the previous year's 38%. Now that is debatable. Any clever guy, high quality, 
on a really good salary, he must be able to put money aside if he's living on his own. After all, they want to build financial security before getting serious. He says, like it or not, we live in a world where money does matter. It's also not particularly easy to get. Good men know that. And they also tend to have a strong instinct to look after those they care about. And it says, the night, their nightmare is to be in a relationship, to be financially insecure or arguing about money night and day. That's where most of the quarrels come in for divorce. And that's a real reason why good men choose to be single. Sorry, this is a bit iffy, people, but I didn't have much time to do a video properly, and it's just gone two o'clock, so I just want to get this processed and on the way. I might go on to Star Wars next week, because some of the things are happening in Lucasfilm and Disney, but if not, I'll do more on MGTOW. But for now, you know the routine. Like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. It's completely up to you. So until next Monday, that's it for this one. Bye-bye.